Hi, it's Auntie Akiba. How are you today? I hope you're feeling good. And I hope that you are getting some sunshine. And when it's sunny, I hope you get to enjoy it. But I've got a book for you if you're indoors and you can sit. I'm not actually going to read the whole book. You go, what? But this is a book of African proverbs. And a proverb, it's not like a story. It's more of an idea and you think about it. So I'm going to read some of the proverbs in this book. This is a new book. It is collected by Janetta Besh Cole. And she was the first woman to be president of Spelman College. And she's the only woman to have been the president of both Spelman College and Bennett College for Women. The other person who helped her to collect is Nelda Latif. And Nelda Latif is the person who illustrated this book. So here are some of the Proverbs, African Proverbs, for all ages, it says. And that includes adults, so it's good to think about. Now, in this book, we have a map of Africa to just remind you of how vast that continent is. And these proverbs have come from many cultures within the continent of Africa. So, here is one proverb. A friend is someone you share the path with. And here you see two people. One has a soccer ball, or it's known as a football in some cultures, and they are sharing that path. So a friend may not have everything in common with you, but if it's your friend, then that is someone that you're sharing your path with. Look at this amazing illustration. And the proverb I'll share here Wisdom is like a baobab tree. No one individual can embrace it. Now, the baobab tree that I've seen was in Senegal, and it was very, very big. And the point there is that wisdom is like a gigantic, big, big, big tree, bigger than what we see in where I live in Georgia. It's mm, No, we don't have gigantic trees like that. There are some giant sequoia trees in California, so you might see those if you're in that part of California, but the baobab tree is gigantic, and wisdom is like a baobab tree. No one individual can embrace it. So wisdom, that's another thing to think about, that wisdom is so big, so vast, that no one person has all the wisdom. How about that? Very beautiful, colorful illustration. And the proverb I'll share here, you can't chase two antelopes at once. So that's a little different for those of us who don't chase antelopes. But if you ever watch some of the nature programs and they'll show antelopes in the wild, they run very, very fast. And sometimes they'll show lions chasing antelopes as part of nature for one animal to chase another. But I would say even the, ant the lions know you can't chase two antelopes at once. You center on one. And sometimes things get so big and so complicated and you feel like, oh, I just can't handle everything. I just can't do everything. Well, don't try to chase two antelopes at once. Just choose one and handle that one. Now, what do you see? 
Do you see the bowl where the mouse seems to be drinking milk? And the bowl has a cat's face on it. So whose bowl do you think that is? That's probably the cat's bowl. And here comes the cat as if to say, what are you doing drinking out of my bowl? The proverb is, when the mouse laughs at the cat, there is a hole nearby. And if you look in the back, there is a hole that this mouse should be able to escape to. The point there is you're not making fun of someone who is stronger and more powerful than you are unless you know you can get away. Okay. And I think I'm just going to read one more of the Proverbs. There are many, many Proverbs in this book. And here we see people who are doing agricultural work. And we see people who seem to be walking to school. They seem to have on school clothes and carrying books. And here's someone who may be carrying water in a vessel that she's balancing on her head. And the proverb I'll share from this page is, Tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. We don't always do a good job of preparing, but when we don't prepare for the future, we are preparing to fail. So that's another expression that I've heard. It's not one that's in this book. But these are just some of the many, many, many African proverbs for all ages. It's a great and colorful book to own, but it's also a book that I hope you and your family can discuss so that you can think about the ideas in these various proverbs. So have a thoughtful day. Have a very thoughtful day, and you know that I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.